वन डे वेन आई वॉज सर्चिंग फॉर आइडिया आई सो दिस एनिमेशन बाई एवेंट फॉर्म ऑन पेंट्रेस सो आई डिसाइडेड लेट्स क्रिएट सम सिमिलर इफेक्ट विथ जोमेट्री नोट ऑन ब्लेंडर बट आई हैव सम टास्क फॉर यू डेट आई विल टेल यू फर्दर इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑन अवर चैनल थिंक साई फाई सेलेक्ट द क्यूब एंड गो टू जोमेट्री नोट क्लिक न्यू देन डिलीट ग्रुप इनपुट एड ग्रेड बाई प्रेसिंग शिफ्ट ए एंड कनेक्ट इट विथ ग्रुप आउटपुट सेलेक्ट द सेलेक्ट एक्स एंड वाई साइज टेन मीटर देन एड ज्वाइन जोमेट्री इन बिटवीन मेक अ डुप्लीकेट ऑफ ग्रेड बाई प्रेसिंग शिफ्ट डी कनेक्ट इट विथ ज्वाइन जोमेट्री रिड्यूस इट्स एक्स एंड वाई साइज टू पॉइंट टू मीटर and x and y vertex to 12 you can increase or decrease it then add instance on point node in between add cylinder and connect it with instance reduce the radius of cylinder to point 08 and depth to point 6 add transform node in between move then move the cylinder on z axis increase the cylinder vertex add geometry proximity node then connect distance with instance on point scale add math node in between select multiply and make one more duplicate of math node by pressing shift d increase the value to 1.5 in first math node and 0.4 in second math node add float curve in between the math node make the curve exactly like me add a uv sphere to the scene reduce its scale by pressing s adjust it on z location so that it will look like it is on the plane move the sphere by pressing g then shift z so that it will not move in the z axis select the plane again then drag the sphere in the geometry node select relative on it then connect geometry to proximity target now you can see the effect in the 3d viewport now when you move the sphere the cylinder near it will get disappear but we want up and down effect in cylinder for that connect combine x y z node between math and points on instance node and connect math to z and give the value of point 8 in x and y now when you move the sphere you will see the up and down motion in cylinder when you move the middle point of float curve then the movement of cylinder also get effect higher the point higher the movement in cylinder and lower the point lower the movement in cylinder now i will add rings which will act like a hole to each and every cylinder for that add one more point on instance node then connect it with join geometry and connect the second grid with its point add mesh circle and connect it with instance 
then add mesh to curve and curve to mesh node in between. Add quadrilateral node and connect it with curve to mesh profile curve. Reduce its width to 0.1 and height to 0 0.015. Reduce the point mesh curve radius to 0 0.06 also. Animation you, you saw earlier, we have to connect mini sphere. For that, connect join geometry in between object info and proximity node and make a duplicate of spheres as many as you want in your scene. Here the cylinders are affected by only one sphere. To get affected by other three also select the plane then make a duplicate of object info node. I have three more spheres in my scene so I make three duplicates. Select each sphere one by one on object info node then connect it with joint geometry. You Now you can see the effect after connecting it with joint geometry. Cylinder are getting affected by each and every sphere. Now come back to the layout and make X and X, Y and Z location of every sphere 0, 1 by 1. Press 7 for the top view and add path curve. Adjust it on Y location. Make a duplicate of it and adjust in opposite side of Y location. Scale both the path curve by pressing S. Now select one sphere and go to the constraint setting and select follow path. Then select one new path on target. This will set the sphere on the path curve. Now if you move the offset the sphere will move on the path. Select the second sphere and do the same steps with it. Select second nubular's path on its target. Select the path curve and set and adjust it on Z location. So that make its Y axis 0 and move it on X axis. Make one more duplicate of it and adjust it on the opposite side. Select the third select the third sphere and follow the same steps to set it on the curve path. By this process you can add as many as sphere you want in your scene. Just don't forget to add it on object info in geometry node. Select the camera and go to the camera setting. Select orthography in type. Adjust it orthographic value. Focus only on the camera part. Click on viewport display and increase passport out. My work is over here. From here your work will begin. You have to do animation, lighting and material part. Then tag it to me in Instagram so that I can see how much you are learning from my tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to do your task and subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in creating this kind of abstract shape, then check the right video.